pausa, una pausa y la o es larga. Oh, oh, oh Dios yep. de mi vida. Perfecto. Ten piedad. Oh, oh Dios de mi vida. Ay, ay, ay. Ok, listo. Ever since Lutheranism was introduced to Latin America, the great majority of hymns available were originally German and American songs, simply translated from English to Spanish. According to Wells missionary, Pastor Terry Schultz, the concept of ethnomusicology, or the study of music and culture, is becoming of great importance. Just like all of us have a hard language, you know, the language that we grew up in, the language that we express ourselves in, we also have a heart music. Worship resources had to be translated into the indigenous music or the heart music of the people. Otherwise, the music is as much a foreign language as, as a written, spoken foreign language would be. So, a team of Latin Americans was assembled to write culturally relevant lyrics for new, biblically-based hymns. Julio, a pastor from Bolivia. Andreas, a theology professor from Chile. Juan, a Mexican who now lives in the United States and is a leader in his local church and Terry, the facilitator from the United States. So I will make sure that they have the melody very firm in their minds how long each of the musical phrases is, and then I very much leave the scene, and it's up to the three men to produce uh, lyrics of, of importance. Other than Terry, these men have no musical background, but that's not what's important here. What is important is that they have a strong understanding of the scriptures. What was exciting was to see how much doctrine these three men wanted to pack into, into the lyrics. These three men, drawing on their, on their Lutheran, you know, Bible-based background, put lots and lots of doctrine into their lyrics. The process starts by picking out a tune from the public domain in the style of music familiar to Latin Americans. My country is a country of people who like to dance. Uh, they are kinetic people. So the music isn't so much for sitting quietly, but rather for moving. It has to fit the emotions that the believer wants to direct to God and the things God wants to communicate to the people. And once they have the tune, they decide on a theme to write on. And then they go to the Bible. Once we select the theme, then based on that theme, we start looking into Bible passages that are fitting to the song. And based on that Bible passage, we start building on that. Then so much of Latin America with that overarching uh, Catholic Church presence, what we need to teach Christ alone, you know, grace alone, by grace we are saved. And then they go to work. And once they have a couple of verses written, they test it out. And that's where Pastor Terry comes in. Yesterday, I, we were writing one song, and after we done, we were done, and we uh, practiced a couple of times. And, you know, I was just excited, and an excitement that I haven't experienced in a long time. These songs will eventually be professionally recorded and included in home worship kits that Wells World Missions and Multilanguage Publications are putting together. In towns and cities across the world that aren't blessed to have a Lutheran pastor, people can use these home church kits to gather with their neighbors, friends, and family to worship God, study His Word, and now sing praises in both their own heart language and heart music. Working with the World Mission Board and multi-language publications, by the grace of God, we can, you, we can produce these materials, and our prayer is that the Holy Spirit blesses our efforts to create that faith in Jesus Christ and save sinners. Very meaningful um, that we can do these help people uh, worship God.